Hi, I'd like to show you how easy it is to make amazing patterns with Rapid Pro. First, let's take a source image. You can choose any image, it could be a graphic, a photograph or a drawing. Let's uh, start exploring this graphic. We have three control panels. We can select the area that we want to repeat in here. We can choose the type of tiling for our pattern in here. And we can do color editing in here. Let's start with the area selection. By moving and scaling the selection box, I can explore and search for interesting patterns on this image. As you can see, it's the selected bit that I'm moving around that gets repeated on the background. You'll be surprised at how many gray patterns you can find in any one image. You can click on a background to view the pattern in its full glory. You can also drag the background to get an idea what it looks like on a bigger scale. If you like a pattern, you can save it as a snapshot. In this way, you can return to them later and refine your selection, tweak them a bit or save them. Okay, I could do this all day, so let's move on to the tiling section. You can choose from a wide variety of patterns. These are the official names, so they might look a bit scary at first. But just play around with them and see how they work. That's the beauty of Rapper. You don't have to know the technical workings in order to use them. As you can see, each pattern type has its own distinct look and feel. Some pattern types, like for instance the PMM, have the possibility to scale both vertically and horizontally. By doing so, you can for instance make stripe backgrounds, which is a great feature for web designers. I personally like to move back and forth between the different controls to get the best results. It keeps the creative juices flowing. Lastly, we can tweak the colors. We made some presets for you, for instance this subtly faded look, which works really well for website backgrounds. You can also go for black and white, vintage, or you can go totally funky if you wish to. All the presets are based on the manual controls, so if you like to fine tune them, write the sliders and see where it might lead you. If you like to do the color editing in other software like Photoshop, you can easily do so while using Wrapper. Any safe changes to the source file will be automatically updated in Wrapper. Okay, let's save our image. We can save it as a single tile or as a tiled surface. Save it as a single tile if you want to do the repetition elsewhere, for instance with a Photoshop fill or an Illustrator pattern. Or we save it as a surface. We just set the width and the height of the surface. And we can set the repeat count. Let's make that 10. Well, that's maybe a bit much. Make it 5. No, that's alright. Now we can either save it as a JPEG, a PNG, or for the highest quality, choose TIFF. Let's save that. Well, there you go. That's how easy it is to create patterns with Rapper Pro. Now start exploring your own images. Get Rapper Pro for next to nothing, or download the free trial to try before you buy. That's all. Thanks for watching.